Hi everybody, welcome. It's Scarlet Pete's Self-Sufficiency. I'm working at the moment on a Brother KH950i electronic. It's been a long time since I switched it on. If the puffer smoke happens, you get to see the capacitors blow. It's going to work. There we go, look. I've just switched it on and can you see that smoking? The capacitor has just blown, so now we need to replace the capacitor. can be quite dramatic, see? There's the capacitor. To get the capacitor off, or to get into the capacitor, you undo these three screws on the top here. We've undone the screws that were holding on the top plastics, and underneath as well, there and there, there are two little pokey screw plastic things. That comes off now. We need to get in there. So right on the edge here we have some screws holding in the power source. We need to undo those. Those are the two screws from the outside. And now we need to undo the screws that hold the cables in place. Take those out. The whole thing should just slide out. That's the piece that the end screws was where the cable and the power source were. And there. And this board now should slide out this way. There we go, and you'll find it's these old capacitors or the fuse, and all those need replacing. There it is. Now, remember with electricity that some of these capacitors and various components in the machine can actually hold on to electricity. So you do not want to put any metal across any of the components because you could create a circuit and make things blow or give yourself an electric shock. I am not an electrician. I'm a DIY fixer of knitting machines. And I know how to do this piece, which is take off this. What we're going to do is the solder that holds those legs on We'll need loosening and this taking off and putting on the next one. So as I was saying, this is my DIY job. I'm not an electrician. If you feel confident with your DIY skills, you can do this. If not, you get an electrician to do it for you. So I'm going to go get the solder iron and get started on this. We need to turn it over and see that this and this, these two places there, are where the legs of the capacitor, the little wires, go through. And those are what we need to heat up with the um, solder iron and get them to be clean so we can pull off the old capacitor. The capacitor often has the wires bent over as well onto the circuit board, so we might need to straighten them up after we've loosened them off. Oh, it's getting warm. You can see the ends hot. So we've heated it enough and pulled and one's come out. Now we need to heat the other side up. And it just fell out, just like that. We're going to do the other one. The fuse is still intact, but we will replace the fuse and we will replace the two capacitors. That one's fine, but still we'll still replace it. And that's the one that blew. Now, what I've read on the internet and been told is that these are made of 30 year old, old paper components and they blow and the new ones are upgraded and operated or something and much better. So we're off to go get some new ones. I have the two new components. Now I need to get some new solder and drop onto that. Here's the solder wire. I've also got some snips because these have much longer ends on and they're going to need snipping shorter. Get this really hot. Right, let's have a look. So we had to make sure we haven't touched any of the two metals together, which we haven't. That's now in its place. I've now got to put one on here. This needs to go underneath, ready to go in the holes. Need to open the legs up just a little bit to get it in place. Oh, 
all that we need to do now is put in a new fuse put in the fuse and now to build it back into the machine now what we have to do now is fit into this end piece the circuit board and the electric this so you see this little cutout place here that goes here afterwards that is where the on off switch goes so that's going to slide into that area afterwards like this right we have here a sliding place like a set of drawer runners that is where the circuit board needs to slide in here we have a hole that takes the electricity plug-in point and behind that plug-in point it has a metal bracket that fits behind it so that the screws screw in through that plastic that I'm holding here and into that plastic and into the metal housing which holds the screw thread. You need to slide that in. That then gives us room to put in place there we go, that's now in. Can you see? Now we need to put across the bridge this piece of plastic that holds down those cables. I'm going to screw that into place now. This has to fit in. Can you see in there? I'm going to use the brass screws that go through there. These screws are going to push through into the metal that I'm holding on behind with my fingers. So we've got this all secured now. Now we need to slide into place here the on-off button. Check it functions. Slip into place. Now we need to put in screws that hold the bed down we've got the three screws in the switch is in place at the back you need to make sure the plastic fits into this little hole that's there for it to go into we need to put the plastic on the top, making sure that none of the cables are trapped or damaged by any screws that are going to go in. It just slips underneath, drops on top. I've got the two screws to put in now. Screws are back in place. Power it up. And as you can see, it's all working. I do hope that's helped you. I have fuses and the ones I've been provided with to replace the capacitors, new capacitors, those are available. I'll work out a price and if anyone's interested please comment below and I can post out to you. So thanks for watching. We have a happy machine and I hope we have happy subscribers that have watched how to do this. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, give us a comment so I know you're there. Lots of love. Bye bye.